What's going on, guys? Hope you're having an absolutely amazing day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am joined again by my wife, Lindsay, and we are super excited to check out the most expensive supermarket in the UK, Waitrose. Now, I've heard of Waitrose for a really long time, don't know anything about it, never looked into it before, but it's been on my list for quite some time now, and Lindsay is super excited about this topic. She loves learning about grocery stores and the difference and comparison yeah. between the UK and the US, and this will be her first look at an actual grocery store. Now, we've learned recently about the recent price differences between mm -hmm. the US and UK grocery shopping trips or food prices, but this is the first time she's actually going to be getting a dive into looking at an actual right. UK supermarket. And for me, I've done, I think I've done two supermarkets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I can't remember. I know I did Tesco, mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember, but I, I've seen a couple of them, I think. And, and it's really interesting seeing the difference. The prices are always amazing. And I yeah. think that's one thing we're going to notice here is that this is supposedly the most expensive yeah. supermarket in the UK. <laughs> How's that going to compare to what we know is, say, a Whole Foods? Yeah. Or... Would you consider Weaver Street, which is more of a local co-op in my old hometown, yeah. would you consider that a uh, very expensive supermarket in I a lot of ways? I feel like it's comparable to Whole Foods, but I feel like they run better sales more They do. Often, and, so it can be... And you can actually get some pretty good deals on produce there. But it's when you go to meat and other specialty things, products. specialty products, uh, that's when you get in trouble. So this is going to be very interesting because I have never looked into what you would call an expensive supermarket in the UK. Cause I know at least in my comment session, it seems like most people are obviously trying to save money. Mm -hmm. And so they shop yeah. more like Tesco and stuff. Um, but we always love going in like oh fancy my goodness. supermarket. Yeah, we are, we are the type. Uh, like it, it is so fun going into those really fancy stores. And we don't just, buy much, but no. we like to look. Well, I used to shop at Whole Foods a lot. Like, like, when you were a single guy. When I was a single Not guy, man, I would go to Whole Foods all the time. I, I, I enjoyed eating, you know, healthy stuff and, you know, somewhere I could feel like I could trust the health, you know, and it, it's just something about the environment. Mm -hmm. The shopping, the shopping environment is huge for me. I really yeah. enjoy when things look clean, they're well lit, they're just get they presented the well to you. Nice and fresh. Yeah, yeah, there is something to say about that, you know. But anyways, guys, yeah. enough rambling from us. You got anything you want to add before we get started? Let's go. All right, we're going to check out a Waitrose shopping hall, supposedly the most expensive supermarket in the UK. We are here. Come on, car park. Oh, I see it. Very, got himself a plant. <laughs> well, I did actually enjoy that. Was that a little road? I'm going to mm. carry on on my phone. Um, let's go get some slightly posher food this week. Let's go wild. Well, I'm actually going to skip out on the quick check this time. Look at so that right there. What is that? Like, Please take a handset, scan as you shop. Scan here from your own device to start your shop. Yeah, like you don't, like you scan your stuff and then you basically is added up already when you get to the till, when you get to the register. But what, couldn't people just not scan certain things? I don't know. That's something <laughs> I'd like to know too, because I have never seen this in any of our grocery stores. Uh -huh. uh, they might have them in some now. I'm sure they might in some areas, but like I've never seen this type of thing. Hmm. Uh, so I, I think it was oh, Tesco cool. that actually had something could, similar too. It could save you time. Yeah, definitely could. So yeah, if you saw my Tesco video, quite a lot of big stores in the UK have these. But I felt ah. like vlogging and scanning at the same time was kind of effort. Oh, it feels really yeah. nice mm. and quiet in here. Strawberries, yes. It'd be interesting to see how much this food shop is. I'm going to buy kind of what I would usually get and a few extras. So two pounds of strawberries, that's pretty normal price these days. Even though wow. this is a wash door, um, waitress also that's have their like... Cheap. That's cheap. Range. That's really cheap. So everything. cheap. And then they have really fancy stuff um, like the... Organic blueberries for two fifty. Is uh, you're, you're not saying expensive, are you? No. Yeah, like me either. I'm like, dude, that's cheap. Okay, wow. so far there's only a couple couple things in, but so far <laughs> that's 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 what we would yeah. call cheap here. Yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> Dutchy organic, if that's how I pronounce it, and then like the stuff that I just picked up is like the kind of normal. Maybe that's on sale. I don't know. Let's just try like some it. things that maybe are a little bit nicer. I do love a nectarine, two for four pounds. Yeah, I love peaches. Two packs for peaches, so we'll get. Dude. I'm quite tempted by the nectarines, so. Oh, yellow flesh 
or white flesh. Oh my gosh, I've never really noticed the difference. I am I think so I'm jealous. Like, I'm really Already, I'm man. a ton of fruit that literally is ripe and ready to eat and then end up throwing half in the bin. So I'm trying to get a bit better at that. I'm sure a lot of people in the UK are like, whoa, this is so expensive. And then people abroad are like, this is so cheap. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, Waitrose is a slightly higher price point um, type of Wait, retailer. What's that? So yeah. Was that a pack of avocados for two pounds? Very nice. I don't uh, know. Nectarines. That's where it looked like it was. Four for three pounds, which is quite expensive. And I need to stop buying avocados because they never eat them. Someone messaged me the other day saying this is very similar to Trader Joe's in America. Mm, it, does have that vibe. it does actually mm -hmm. have that vibe a little bit. The way it's laid out in the packaging reminds me. And Trader Joe's. It's, it's, it's an odd shopping Trader center. Joe's is cheap. I don't know if they have Trader Joe's in the UK. I don't think they do. I don't think so. I, I don't think. Let us know in the comments. They don't even have them a lot of places in the US. Um, yeah, that's true. It's like a, there's it's, not one near yeah, us. Right, but I had one growing where I were in my near my hometown. Um, but the Trader Joe's is not I wouldn't it's not like a like a Whole Foods level like no. more expensive, but it's not like a low level no, grocery. It's either. more of like it's a hippie store. Yeah, it's, a, it's more affordable than a lot of places. It really is. And all their stuff is, like, I think non-GMO, and they don't do added colors. Right, they, they kind of... It's healthier. It's, it's a place you can go and be more assured that you're going to get uh, generally better, better, yeah, healthier better stuff. Yeah. Dreams in um, Tesco. Here's the, the mushrooms. I don't know if I want any. Should I get some? I'll be honest, I always buy my, my nuts in Aldi. It's way cheaper. Have you noticed that so cheaper. much of their stuff comes um, in plastic some, containers, like their fruit and stuff? Fruits. Get things like this you like, wouldn't usually get. Or a box? Like yeah. I don't know, like a literally a thing. <laughs> a coconut water. Do I want kiwis? I end up never eating them. Two pounds! Let's get a couple of lemons. Aww. I'm still trying to get back into the routine. 35 having, pence. Like a... I don't know, like half or a quarter of a lemon with hot water in the morning, and it's really and those are big. It's kind of helping my skin. We do have quite so the selection. Oh my gosh, I tend to like roast them. Do you know what? Let's give these a go. Oh, those look good. Me being healthy and these types of things, like I would buy, like if I have someone coming over, just How much so is it's that? like easy and just chuck it in the oven. I'm trying to keep an eye out for like gluten free and like pounds. vegan, but yeah, they have uh, gluten free Yorkshire puddings. They look pretty good. I love Yorkshire. Two pounds. What? Come on. No, you have to make your own now you i can't own, you can just buy them or buy them from the freezer section that's so cheap. As expected, there's like all right hold on one second we've got to go and look at the conversion rate real quick so we can kind of make sure we understand exactly what that means in u.s dollars all right so the conversion is roughly around one pound to 1.25 dollars i mean it's like 1.24 or something but um that's pretty easy to keep in mm -hmm. mind of what that is. And it's pretty comparable. Then, like, you know. Within bacon, I'm not gonna get any, but yeah, there's quite a lot of, um, wow. just like, yeah, three, nicer brands. I don't although, know if this in although, the supermarkets. I mean, if Something I will say though. What? Is their packages are so much smaller than ours on bacon. Like our bacon is usually like a pound of mm, bacon. Bacon is usually eight ounces at store. We get a pound. No, yes, yes, it no, is. No, no. I the one I normally buy before we got the one from the farm was twelve ounces. Uh, they do have twelve ounces, but it's usually eight or twelve ounces and, and we get pounds. Okay, so there. how much is that? It looks less. I don't know, man. Granted the pieces are bigger. I don't know. Back bacon rashers. What's good? This, mm. But our bacon is really good. I rarely buy chicken anymore. I don't know why. Is that like four twenty for a whole chicken? chicken? I like wow. is like the heavy processed, like chicken dippery kind of things. Um, it says corn. That could be quite nice. <laughs> I probably should be planning my meals for the week, but do you know what? For four pounds seventy-five, I personally think that those are quite good, and I'm very tempted. That's with the cheap. Pork and apple that is really so cheap. That. That, that, to be stuffed, stuffed, kind of ready to go. Ready to go. Chuck it in the oven. Look at that. It's very similar to what we saw in. Dude. Four fifty on sale. That's that's awesome. Prepared, yeah. ready to go, and you got to cook it. I think. I, yeah. But like, like, imagine what that would cost here. Like to get something hot, decently, decent quality. Yeah, that quality it would be expensive as hell. Yeah, very expensive. In Tesco, but as you can see, you get all these different um, like nice meals. You get just something a little bit different here. I'm quite tempted by that. That looks quite yummy. Mexican inspired chicken. Wow. Um, usually very chicken or fish heavy. But there's a lot of choices, so right? Yeah. From. Um, I used to buy quite a lot of these actually. Ready these to really go in the aluminum. Like family, or you just what they would call chicken. tin. They're like ready pan. to go with all the all the flavorings. I believe that's what they would call it. Nine pound fifty. 
Um, I've definitely had those meatballs before. I have all the sausages to pick from, but again, I'm going to grab my chicken ones, and these are 25 p more than what they were in Tesco. 25. That's okay, these are so good. It's all cheaper than buying them in the local store. We do love a chicken in a bag, ready to go. So you've got a barbecue <laughs> glaze one there. What? Sage and Four eight oh. Oh. Okay, wait. No, a whole chicken? Ready to go $5, glaze. Five dollars, basically. No, five pounds. Yeah, but... No, that's probably about... about that, that is six... 25 roughly somewhere there either way like yeah Close like enough. that would be i don't know what would that be ready to go glazed and all that like a big chicken like what would that be here 12 bucks yeah 12 dollars something that like that quality right like i mean like that's that is insane okay so far man like everything here is <laughs> like I'm jealous. i would be shopping here because it's just it's cheaper yeah, than what we buy and then what's that garlic going to walmart I even i do love the pre-packaged salad in waitrose it's the best i've already got some mango at home um but I think five pounds uh i mean that's like 6.25 roughly that that's, not that that's not that cheap with something need a little bit of carbs so i'm thinking that's wow um, spinach that's a good price and man and this is basically already good. cooked but i've never really noticed ready to go Oh, man. These look really, really good. And I think. Just want really little bags of vegetables. Look at these, they're tiny. <laughs> oh, they're probably, um, yeah, like a little meal. We have even more fish. I think this is why I love waitress. They always have such a good selection of, um, yeah, just lazy food. It's brilliant. Um, although I'm not wow. the first mackerel I've tried. Dude, okay, Lindsay doesn't drink. I mean, Lindsay doesn't really <laughs> eat fish. Yeah. Uh, you don't eat any seafood, do you? Like, if I have to, I'll have salmon. Right, a little bit of but, mine. Mm. Um, I love fish. I'm not a fan of like shrimp, oysters, uh, stuff like that. I love fish, though. Uh, I've, I like most fish. Not a fan of tuna too much, but I, I love like all, most of your white fishes, salmon, things like that. Um, but what I want to say was this seems like a huge seafood selection here. Like, I, I think about like, at our local store, and it's just, and of course, we live way inland compared say, to where they are. Island. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, they're going to probably automatically have more yeah. seafood options than us. That's true. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I, I would love to have more access to fish, and I just don't. Not, really not like ocean it. fish, I anyway. Again. I do love smoked salmon, but I tend to eat a little bit quicker, oh, no. so I'm not oh. actually going to get any on this trip. 6 25, so that would be like seven something, I believe. Um, Oh, that's actually not bad at all. That's not bad. I think that would be quite a bit. It's been a while since I bought something like that, but I think it'd be quite a bit more expensive. I'm thinking about what it would be at Whole Foods here because that would be the last place I got that. I haven't bought that. I probably I don't think they sell stuff like that at Walmart, for example. Mm -mm. Um, not really sure. Oh, this smells really good. Standard olives, picky bits. Oh, I want to see the price on that. Did you see the price on the rotisseries? I think they were like six. Things. I love these. Um, Just going to message okay. my sister and see That's... what we need for tomorrow. But no, my sister, she already has everything. Um, but I do love just things that are a little bit different, like hummus. With a nice little different topping there and I have noticed quite a lot of the Heston um, products around a really good deli there lots of different meats and cheeses uh, this is your place right here <laughs> not my place I, I'm not a big fan of cheese but uh <clears throat> Lindsay you'd probably you'd probably uh spend some time in the section wouldn't you <laughs> a little bit what do you uh, it what? What do you think of those prices right there? Are those, it doesn't are those seem over very top cheap. Of it doesn't seem very no. cheap. Well, it's not supposed to be. This is supposed to be the most. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Case. But I'm saying in comparison to the other things I've seen. Right. This seems to be something that's more. Seem, yeah. More in line with a an expensive store. Yeah. It's hard to say. This looks super yummy. But I do want to get maybe like a couple of things. Like I said, for tomorrow. I do love some kind of chicken kebab 425 item. two for seven pounds so let's go with this these, is amazing uh, little kebabs wow halloumi kebabs they look really good i said that there would be posh sausages <laughs> look at this, this what is, is that so yummy i She's... love it. like kind of ooh, cured meats and things oh like it's that. always like, cured meat adore. and cheese and stuff so, amazing i went through not really my thing these, mine either i love clapping my skids weight shows and actually buy one of those Oh, eggs. Week, which is really bad. Oh, what is this eggs? Myself going down the oh, oh, my gosh. Hold on. I've got to see all the <laughs> That is insane. Dude, yeah, our Cadbury is like, Look oh, at the variety. Here, here's your fake Hershey's Cadbury, and it's just like a few bars, and that's it. Like, that you, is crazy. We do not have all these choices here at all. 
That's probably a good thing I don't live in the UK. <laughs> don't need any. I want them. We're going to swiftly move along. And I quite like, <laughs> also not at the same time, they just have random big areas for wine in the middle of aisles. So if you want some chocolate and wine, you can. I'm not sure if it's needed, but let's get... Oh, and number four for tomorrow. It's on offer, guys. I'm finally gonna do it. Well, let's see. I mean, it's 160. Let's see if I actually like Yorkshire tea. I know, I can't believe I've never tried it. Oh, I'm not sure about wow. that. Uh, Wait, Marmite yes. breakfast? They look quite nice. Did you see that? Oh, they look oh, nice. It? There's some kind of Marmite Italian breakfast bar I look like. And even the posh stores have got microwave meals ready to go. <laughs> Those are so cheap. Thrive. Okay, that's not This so. seems to be oh yeah, helping you live holistically. Let's see what their ready meals are like. I maybe can pop that in the freezer. But yeah, I've got quite a lot. They don't have a specific gluten-free section. I want to say what I've seen so far, like the, the, the way it's set up doesn't look as posh as I thought it would look. Yeah. Because I'm thinking of what I think of when I think of a Walmart that I'm going to. I mean, well, a Walmart. A Whole Foods yeah, I'm going to. Or like... Um, I feel like it's even, like an experience, like, right? It's an experience, like yeah. the way the the walls look and the 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 I don't want to call it furniture, but like the shelving and just like everything is it's just like, like very so hipster, hipster wood, yeah. and it's like really just nice yeah. and just weird. Like this looks more like what I what I like think Trader of Trader Joe's. Yeah, this looks more like Trader Joe's. It really does. Mm -hmm. That that you're right. That that's what that's the vibe I get from this. <laughs> seeing is the gluten-free and vegan stuff is within um like the main section waitros are elite when it comes to their pizzas wow they're those are amazing my sister always gets them and they're fantastic but even they're like massive cheap ones they're, they're really good as well 365 are, like, the really dude. fancy ones because like six pound ten i know some people think that's quite cheap but for like supermarket pizza it's quite expensive um but they are mm, really I fantastic i mean look at that you know it's not standard flavor or topping they're fresh what? Pasta, our, so our frozen pizzas are just so expensive now is, like, yeah the worst Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so good. I could true. just eat every day. I could eat filled tortellini. And they do, yeah, like I said earlier, like different kind of tearings and wow. different sub labels. I've never had anything like that, honestly. Milled cannelloni ready to go. Oh, and there's even like a whole kit as well. What? I've probably had nothing like that before because that's not something I would prepare myself. I don't think you would want to go through the process of preparing it. And without it being pre prepared, it's just not something I would ever have the mm. opportunity to try. Unless I was at a restaurant, maybe, or something. Or in Italy. Yeah. Ignore my idea. Comment. What am I on about? There's a whole section for plant based and vegetarian. And uh, yeah, this is all kind of like own label stuff. Um, but the looks the shelves look clean. Don't, look at that. Like, they do look clean. Brand. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Cauldron is a brand. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of the items, um, like kind of meat. Vibe. Some different pies. Oh, I bet the sausage rolls, vegan rolls, do particularly well. Lots of like picky beige bits for um, picnics, so that's good to see. And I've seen this brand before. This isn't bacon. This is <laughs> Anyone it. Oh, tried it? Is it any good? Um, but yeah, quite a decent selection just for a few meat substitutes. And a lot of the waitresses now have got an actual okay. sushi counter. This... And you can't like specifically order things, but they have wow. the stuff ready to grab and go which is always really really wow. good so i'm actually gonna grab a few things because they usually last a day or so like literally you can just buy like a whole thing ready to go it's amazing wow i do really wow, like man. the big tubs and they it go does really look long like very good well, quality. Actually, quite yeah good. i will say that definitely looks like good quality stuff yeah spicy cali roll for sure salmon crunch roll those are so pretty looking i'm sure that's enough i don't need any more i'm buying so much food but if you do want to order a lot you can do like the whole platter. okay that oh I, I i i don't have a lot of experience with sushi but that does, that seems cheap that seems cheap for what i know sushi to be to to cost so um that's not not bad from a u.s standard price mm -mm. Idea. That's quite good, isn't it? I actually was going to get some fresh soup, but where it's going to be like thirty degrees like this week. Look at the prices, oh, man. This really like this really nourished brand. I think this is quite good, but mostly expensive. I definitely not going yeah, to be which I mean, I'm sure it Way is. Right, if you're not used to paying what we next. currently pay for food. Free juice section. Oh, how much is a pack? Everyone will be asking for that in the UK. <laughs> right. Oh, we have it on offer. Okay, that's not too bad, right? Three seventy-five. Instead of four twenty. Oh, and that vanilla oat milk that I bought from Tesco. Oh, it was in the long life section, wasn't it? Was it? I don't, I don't, I don't want to drink oat milk. But I'm just looking at that, like, because it was less than two pounds. Yeah, less than two pounds, man. I don't, I don't know what it is here, but I'm pretty sure it's like. No, like I've seen it. It's six, dollars. about yeah. six dollars. That's six dollars for a half gallon. I don't know what. Maybe that was smaller, but that was not that expensive. Pain was literally. Oh, it was 
trolley is doing my head in. Um, it was like the nicest. I mean, I like normal milk, but it was really good. Someone messaged me the other day asking where like the coffee creamers are. Like we don't sell those in the UK. We don't have those. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, that's it. That's your milk selection, and that's it. I'm not getting any ice cream. Looks like oh much my gosh. They have really four good pounds? selection. That looks so fancy like for four pounds, cream. man. I do think Magnums are like the elite ice cream. There's quite a big selection here, I do actually. like them. Yeah. Yeah. They're everywhere. We saw them in uh, Southeast Asia um, when we were like there the as well. Ones. Oh, they're double ones. Uh, yeah, we've got the vegan, or is that mint at the top? Not sure. I've never seen these before. Bites. Oh my gosh, I would eat all of those. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yummy. And I also would recommend things like this. They do a lot of the... Oh, that looks wow. Good. Strawberry, really blueberry, and banana oat smoothie mix. Three seventy-five. And the wow. organic. That's crazy. This is an oat smoothie mix. You've got all your um, frozen fruit in it and oats, etc. Um, these are good as well. I've already got quite a few left wow. in my freezer. Also, I've had the frozen croissants before and they're really nice. Definitely worth getting. They're fab. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and they've got quite a lot of itsu frozen stuff, which is quite interesting to see. Um, has anyone tried them? Let me know. Are they any good? Ooh, the bakery bit looks good. I'm not going to buy any bread. What that is looks really good. Little is that your place? Items. Um, what oh, one? A little bit sparse. Uh, I don't need to buy any bread. Oh my gosh, how cute. Really good, like, cupcakes and stuff like that. So if you want something a little bit special. I get them the same. Those are adorable. My two nieces, that's quite sweet. This is how amazing. That's not bad price, honestly. Yeah. Look at this. Heaven forbid you have to have, you know, normal <laughs> Dry Four mango. pounds. I that's a little. Um, yeah, wait, that's yeah, a little high. Like slightly higher tier birthday cakes. Um, as you can see, sixteen fifty. Those look really good. They do look good. Like sponge cake or anything like that. Dude. Um, that looks insane. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they have stuff that's a little bit more. Hip hop. See the at our grocery stores, <laughs> the types of birthday cake. Granted, okay, at Whole Foods you get a little better, like some no, of yeah. that. But they are so expensive. Yeah, and they're they're they're. Horrible. What would that be like twenty dollars? Um, well, s'mores cake, that roughly. So, uh, that yeah, about look twenty not bucks. Bad no for a cake that's that. pre-made and looks delicious. Yeah, it looked it. Now I don't know what the ingredients are obviously, but I think that it's probably going to be better quality than what we get here. Yeah, I'm at sure. Walmart, you know, Whole Foods maybe a little different, but um, hmm, looks good. Mm -hmm. And I, that's not a bad price point, in my opinion, man. Less kind of stuff like that if Super you know what I mean. Mario. I'm surprised there's not a unicorn cake. Even though I'm not grabbing anything, I'm just gonna show you some things which I would maybe recommend. Three pounds, 260. Ones all year They're round soaring. Well. I like the little ones and I've been looking to buy some sparkling water that's infused or flavored, you know, with something. And I went um, to an appointment a little while ago and they had these in the waiting area. They tasted quite nice. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they're not as nice as, you know, a proper Diet Coke or no. you know, Fanta. <laughs> no. um, but I've noticed in Tesco, I don't like that's the worst soft. Flavors. Yeah, Diet Coke. That's like the worst of my opinion. That brand that I've seen on a lot of American vlogs, Lacroix. Lacroix. I don't think they have it in here either. Yeah, they have the Lacroix okay, here. Get that one. Um, elderflower sparkling water. Also, why is the shape of these cans now like tall and skinny? Anyone else notice that? I'm gonna try the peach one. Some of these flavors are a bit crazy. Pineapple mm. and basil. Ooh, every good. waitress always has a. Wow. Alcohol section. That's a huge wine selection. Yeah. Of champagne. Mm -hmm. Very big selection wow. of wine. And a pretty good rose selection as well. What is rose? Different wines. A very, very big bottle. I, I don't know wine at all. Okay, influencers get gifted this stuff. I'll buy it. 16 pounds. So much oat. It was just oh. 46. Milk and long life Must milk. be on sale. I know you can get Holy normal God. milk as long life, but it's not really a massive thing because um, you just buy it kind of fresh. But they have. The one that I got the other day, and it's on offer. I mean, one pound thirty. Don't know how much stuff is anymore. It's expensive. I've got the chocolate one. That's okay. I probably wouldn't bother buying that again. I nearly went to pay, and I forgot. I had a request. My sister was like, "Can you grab a pack of these for my brother-in-law?" Like, two pounds. Gonna be. Or not even two pounds. Quid, so that's kind of expensive. Okay, this is a lot of food. Next week we'll go to Poundland. <laughs> I thought that would be but I definitely got some like nice little treats I didn't buy enough for tomorrow but I don't think we really need much food actually on reflection but anyway I'm really pleased with like the fish bits I've got interested to try a few different things which yeah I've never bought before okay wow 118 pounds that was 118 pounds <laughs> for everything she got in her for car. everything she got in her car <laughs> uh, oh my goodness <laughs>
I'm speechless. Yeah, I want to. I'm trying to get it on the. Wait, is this after she rang it up? Where? That uh, is crazy to me. That is. I was insane. thinking as she went, it was going to be so expensive, because I'm thinking, oh, all these, like, convenient foods, guys, and wine or champagne or whatever it is, and there's no way here. How much would stuff like the the equivalent of quality Dude, to that amount? How much would that? Cost we would here? probably spend two hundred fifty dollars on that. That is crazy. I, I, I looking at it. Yeah. I mean, like just looking at like the quality of stuff, the the different you know different things she got. Like I mean, that's two hundred some dollars <laughs> easily. I mean, okay, I know that in the UK, uh, uh, this is this is probably considered an expensive store. I mean, mm-hmm. I've heard it said by many people, so it has to be. Um, and and it's been forever since I looked at Tesco, and we did a we did a grocery store comparison the other day. Mm-hmm. Was that that was Tesco and Kroger, right? Yeah. Um, and so, like, you know, obviously that was like, wow, that was a really really big difference there. How much money you could save? I think it was, man, what was it? I, I think you, I think it was a third cheaper or something like that. That was quite a big. Difference. But this this was interesting because we got to see this perspective of the shopping, see everything on the shelves. If I look at the whole grocery shopping trip, 118 pounds. Yeah. And I'm looking at that. That's, that's like a steal. <laughs> that's, that is like, well, we probably add about, it was, it was one pound to 1.25, $1.27. Mm-hmm. I can't remember exactly what it was. So you're looking at rounding about a, a quarter more per pound like like you get what i'm saying like there's mm-hmm. one pound of 1.25 dollars so if this was if this was 100 pounds it'd be about 1.2 mm-hmm. 125 dollars so this is probably something like 135 dollars roughly something like that 140 dollars yeah i'm not really sure exactly somewhere around that and i'm sitting here thinking think about this when we go to walmart and oh, we buy yeah. groceries We'll spend it's like nothing to spend that much. You spend think about when you buy a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars, I'm coming out with two bags, maybe yeah. three bags if I'm Depending lucky. Like what it is. little plastic bags, like mind you, not big paper bags or anything. Mm-hmm. Just a couple of little paper plastic bags. I mean, our milk. If we get milk there, which we're now again buying milk at the farmers market. Which I mean, not the farm a little more at the local farm. Excuse yeah. me. Um, it's it's more expensive, so it's actually more expensive to do this. But like getting milk at their store, like it's. Ten on which milk you get seven eight dollars a pound. I mean seven <laughs> seven eight dollars a gallon. Yeah. Um, and if you get um, what eggs, you can get cheaper eggs, but they're maybe five six dollars a dozen. Um, and if we get them at the if we get them at the farm, they're seven dollars a dozen mm-hmm. um, for really good quality eggs. Um, but yeah. I don't know, guys. This was interesting. This was a really interesting look. You got anything you want to add? No, I'm just dreaming of. Because if you know this, <laughs> if you know this is considered an expensive grocery yeah. trip, can you imagine what it's like to go to the cheaper ones. Well, you saw that with Tesco the other day. Yeah, but everyone, I feel like in the comments, people said Tesco isn't the cheap grocery store. I know, I've heard that. So <laughs> a lot of people say it's Aldi. Aldi is supposedly cheaper, mm-hmm. but well, yeah, they're pretty much. Cheaper. Anyways, guys, I'm sure this video is getting long enough. Enough of us rambling. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover our British and Irish ancestry. Till next time, guys. Peace. Bye.